Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. This video is going to be about the Adam Purvis or A Purvis Blades Primordial Knife, Folding Pocket Knife. And this is going to be a really short, really quick video because all I want to do or achieve in this video is to basically record down and see if this is everything it's been hyped up to be. The backstory is that I first saw this knife being featured on Epic Snuggle Bunny's channel. And at that point of time, it was a prototype that was sent to him. And it was through Epic Snuggle Bunny's channel that I found out about Adam Purvis Blade. Like before that, I knew nothing of this maker. I never heard of it. But because because of that video, I was really, really drawn into the design of it. I thought it looked very beautiful and it's something that is right up my alley. And that led me to follow the A Purvis Blades Instagram account where I sent Adam a message and he said that this was going to be on a pre-order and this was like a few months back. So I hopped on that pre-order the moment it was released and then following that, I saw a review by Dr. Frankie. And I assumed that the prototype that was featured in Dr. Frankie's channel was the same piece that was featured in Epic Snuggle Bunny's channel. And I was thinking, wow, you know, these guys really spoke highly of this knife and I already am on the pre-order. I'm not going to back out because the design is killer. Like I got that knife mainly because of the design. But there seem to be a lot of good nuances to it. Like the action, the machining quality, of course, is machined by Wii Knives and everyone says, you know, Wii Knives is really, really good. One of the best in the production game right now. Initially, there was a bigger box. It was a USPS box, but that arrived in a very bad state and there was a huge gash or a huge gaping hole in the box. So I opened it up just to make sure that this was inside and that is why uh, this is kind of not really an unboxing, but rather I just want to see if the action, you know, the machining and all that is just as how they made it out to be. I mean, I'm not doubting them for sure, but you know, this is my first time dealing with an A Purvis Blades knife. I got to tell you, first of all, Adam is a really, really nice guy. And right now this is also actually being offered on Blade HQ, which is a great place because I get a lot of my knives from Blade HQ. Here we go. I'm just going to wing it. Oh, so in this box, we actually have, what is this? This is a name card. Yep. Adam Purvis from Dallas. I'm gonna put this right here so that you guys can see his information. And we have a knife pouch. Cool. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, here's a knife and there's nothing else in here. And wow, okay. Um, This looks really good, but the knife is a lot smaller than I expected. This is quite surprising. I thought it was much bigger, you know, judging from what I saw in the videos, but this is a very comfortable size. Now, I'm pleasantly surprised about this. Yeah, I chose the stone wash combination. There were a few combinations being offered. One option was coated black. Another one was be blasted or sand blasted. And you guys know I don't really like the blasted finish, even though my Nirvana blade is still blasted. <laughs> I've got to send it for a regrind and some refinishing or some custom work being done to it. But yeah, there'll be in due time, I guess. But I opted for this, which is the stone wash finish. It is really light, I gotta say. And right out of the box, this looks very, very good. It looks to be very well done. Couple of, uh, I guess, sharper spots here, but that's because of the design. And yeah, everything looks to be good. Look at the clip, 3D milk clip blade centering. Looks to be pretty darn good. Now, one of the main reasons why I got this is because it is a, I guess you could call this a spider hole opening, like of sorts, like you would spidey flip this open. You know what I mean? Like there's no flipper tab and no thumb starts and that keeps everything very very sleek very nice and compact okay i'm gonna try to deploy it because whenever i watch those videos every single time they deployed the primordial it looked so so good like the action was like super crisp so uh, i've never deployed a knife with this kind of opening before because this is my first time obviously i think this is a unique design so i'm gonna try it out okay uh, i don't know how this feels like but here we go oh wow Okay, okay. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try it again. This is uh, surprisingly nice. Wow. Okay, one-handed. Oh, awesome. Okay, this is really, really nice. I am impressed. I really am impressed. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a quick size comparison before I end the video because I won't be reviewing this knife and I will just put specs on the screen somewhere. Yeah, but here we go. Size comparison to a CRKT Pillar and a size comparison to a spider coat delica and yes guys i've been practicing how to flick and deploy the delica open so it is about the same size as a delica slightly i think very very slightly smaller than a delica okay let's just move the pillar aside because we can obviously tell the pillar is smaller if i do this like uh like handle to handle yep you could see that it is almost the same size and maybe even like almost the same proportions as a spider coat delica just that it is probably thicker for the handle but without a doubt it is a beautiful knife uh the way it's made and everything uh very very nice i won't be going too deep into that because well i'll just basically point you guys to the knife experts i'm talking about epic snuggle bunny and dr frankie but the action on this really really good beautifully done 
um, I'm so surprised. Like, look at the tolerances here. At the finger choil area, everything is just done so nicely. The blade and the scales are completely flushed, exact same dimensions as well. And uh, when you close it, even up here, this is, wow, like, it's the small little details that Adam designed and we was able to execute and uh, wow, uh, very, very happy. And I love the carbon fiber titanium combination. And that's about it, everyone. Thank you so much for sharing this slice of my life. I just wanted to make this video because I wanted to just, I guess, get my uh, impressions on this down. I am really happy with this. Like, um, I'm just glad. More than glad, in fact, that this is performing beyond the expectations that I had after watching those videos. <laughs> yeah, not a knife review, not a usual first impressions review, but still uh, just some content to share with you guys because, you know, it is a slice of my life after all. As always, I'll put links in the description box below for the A Purvis Blades Instagram account, as well as, if it is still available, any links to the primordial knife over on Blade HQ. And I will catch all of you in the next slice of my life. Thank you so much, everyone. And till then, gaga boost.